Hi, my name is Chef Thomas. Welcome to LearnToCook.com. We are making a watermelon caprese salad. Uh, for this application, we actually peeled a watermelon, and uh, we used uh, cookie cutters to cook out different, uh, cut off different shapes. In that case, I actually used stars, and I also have some circles and some uh, squares here. Be very creative with your salad presentation. It's very easy to do. Everybody has cookie cutters at home, and watermelon are very perfect for that. I show you one dish, uh, two different ways. So we have a beautiful white plate here, and we're actually gonna uh, start with a watermelon star. And here we have uh, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. We are cut in slices. We're gonna layer these. Just like a caprese salad you would do with tomatoes. Now this salad is known for using fresh basil. So I brought some basil out of my yard and uh, show you a classical cooking uh, cutting technique, knife skill, and that's called a chiffonade which is cutting a leafy vegetable or herb into very, very small um, stripes. So I layer these um, leaves over each other. I use my claw hand again, my knife. You can roll it. Some chefs like to roll it. I like to just leave it on top of each other. Now, I don't want to cut the stems in. I'm going to throw the stems out. So now I have a beautiful chiffon out of basil. It smells really yummy. I want to season. You can do this even with sea salt, maybe a little bit of pepper. Fresh cracked pepper would be even better. And then we need a little bit of oil. Not a lot. And you have a choice now of just using regular balsamic vinegar, or you can make a reduction. When you use a reduction, the reduction is going to look like this. Very syrupy, very thick. And it's now concentrated, so I really only need a little bit of it. A couple of drizzles, maybe a little bit around the plate, so it looks a little bit more fancy. I'm going to take my chiffonade basil. Right over the top. And here's a beautiful caprese salad. Now I can use a color plate and use my circles. And kind of make it um, into a tower. Almost looks like a watermelon sandwich now. Again, a little bit of oil. This time I use regular balsamic, not my reduction. Now this is very liquid. A little bit of salt and pepper again. This is more an appetizer, a salad course, it's not dessert. We have another presentation. Last but not least, let's do a square plate.
shifts like uneven numbers. So in this case, I have five squares of watermelon. Same thing here. We have a little bit of basil left. So now I'm rolling it together. Don't want the stem. A little bit of oil. salt and pepper, don't forget that. And voila. Three same salads, three different plating techniques. Enjoy. Well, thanks for joining us today at learntocook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you.